think it's pretty dang cool that I can just grab any item from home and within the same day, just within the same hour or two, I'm able to not only take an item, but I'm able to 3D scan it from the comfort of my own home and I'm able to get them 3D printed. So this one is the drill. So this one does have trees for support since there is an overhang. And then this is where Mr. Master Chief is being 3D printed. Now let's take a look at a few of the 3D scans that we have printed. So really you're able to clone almost anything in your home from you know small screws over to automobile parts to just objects within your home. And this one did a really good job. So this is that test object that is inside of the portable carrying case. So all I did was I scanned it, placed this on the slicer, put it over to the 3D printer and I hit print. So this was the first one that we ever did. And again, coming from a beginner, just taking the 3D scanner and scanning it and, and just turning it on the turntable, this is the result, which I think looks really good. Now, the next scan that I did, it was Master Chief. So I wanted to see if I could do a little figurine. Now for this one, I did bring the scale down just a little bit. So this is about 70% of a scale. And that's just because of the time constraint that I had. I just wanted to see this thing come out. So I brought it down a little bit smaller. I could have kept it at its full scale. And that's the nice thing about this scanner is that whatever you are scanning with the intelligence on the inside of that scanner, whatever you scan, it'll come at that size. So if I would have kept it at a 100% scale, it would be this exact size. So I brought it down. So this was the end result of Master Chief. I think I just needed a little bit more lighting on his hand here, and then a little bit more time with his foot on the back. Other than that, everything came out great. Again, this is just the second scan. And then for the third object that I was able to scan and print was this drill. Now, there is one thing that is on the Creality Scan program that I should have done with this. And again, that's the purpose of this video is for me to play around with it and test it and review it. There is a, a option to smooth this out. I did do the option where it says to fill any holes and was able to find a few holes that it did uh, fill in. But then if I would have done that, op that option for smoothing it out, I think it would have came off just a little bit better in a few areas. 